Good afternoon and welcome to another version of AQS Guild Buzz with Bonnie, where I talk to quilters in quilt guilds all across the country. And so today our guest is Karen Pistorino, and she's from the Bay Berry Quilters of Cape Cod in Massachusetts. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us. Well, we're having a good time talking to quilters all across the country and finding out what you're doing and what you're doing while we're dealing with the coronavirus. So let's start by talking about how your guild was formed and how many members you have. Okay, our um, guild was started in 1981 by 15 ladies from East Ham, which is a very small town on the Cape. And we um, now have 220 members. That's at last count. And our membership has gone from the small town of East Ham through the Cape and what we call over the bridge into Southeastern Massachusetts and beyond. So we have members all over the country. All over. Yes. Well, let's talk about some of the things that your guild does for community service. I know that guilds do lots of things in their community, and so this is a chance for us to find out about those. Okay. Most of our community service projects come through what we call the Quilt Bank, and that is 25 to 30 ladies working weekly on projects. And um, the, some of the projects that we do are fidget quilts for victims of Alzheimer's, the colorful pillowcases. And we um, provide quilts for the neonatal intensive care unit at Floating Hospital, which is in Boston. And we also, what we're very proud of, is our participation in Cape Cod Cares for the Troops, which is held on Memorial Day weekend. It's held in a parking lot, so you can think of what, how big it is. And what we do is everybody gets to look at the, uh, the trucks and the, talk to the person, military personnel and whatever. It's really a tribute to the military. And during this time, there is a ceremony and um, the uh, quilts are given about a hundred a year to Vietnam vets and any World War II veterans that are present at the time. And they are given what we refer to as the hug that these men and women never received on their return home. And it's a very emotional time, both for us and for the veterans. And it's for us, it's the gift of giving. And um, it's a wonderful, wonderful experience. Unfortunately, this year, because of the virus, we haven't had it, but it's an annual thing. And uh, all year long, we make the quilts for the, uh, the Cape Cod Cares for the Troops. Well, and you know, uh, my husband was a Vietnam vet and um, he appreciated the quilt that he got from the Quilts of Valor Foundation. And this is separate from that, correct? Yes. Yes, it is. Well, it's the any time that we can say thank you to our veterans is a good day, isn't it? Yes. And the veterans seem to respond to it with what it's intended for, a thank you. And some of them will break down and cry. And uh, we had one gentleman, um, when he passed away, he wanted his quilt from us put in his casket and that that really touched our hearts a lot well you know you're doing a good service then to the to the troops in your area aren't you yes 
All right, well, do you know this program is sponsored by Handy Quilter, and we're going to take just a minute now and have a word from Handy Quilter. Hello, Massachusetts. I'm Kim Sandberg, Handy Quilter Studio Educator. As part of Bonnie's Guild Buzz, we're offering our quilting friends in Massachusetts a special Handy Quilter Watch and Learn discount on select frame accessories good through this coming Sunday, October 25th. Mention Guild Buzz MA at your local participating Handy Quilter retailer or shop online at handyquilter.com and enter code GUILDBUZZMA at checkout to get in on this great deal. If you're watching this video after this offer expires, stop by handyquilter.com for the latest long arm education and inspiration. We'd love to see you. So welcome back. And now let's talk a little bit about what your guild is doing now, because I know we've all been struggling of how do we get together and how is your guild getting together? Um, we have been immersing ourselves in what we're all familiar with now are the masks. And we have made nearly 6,200 and they're given to first responders, hospitals, nursing homes, private individuals, family and friends. And that's kept us very busy. And there's little pickup spots around uh, the Cape where people can pick up elastic or uh, fabric or whatever. It's a good way for us to use our stashes. We'll have to go shopping after the pandemic is over because we'll have depleted a lot of our, our stash. Um, we have uh, all of our Zoom uh, classes and workshops coming up and we've filled the year, the coming year, with um, with that, so and we have signups already. People are signing up to attend the uh, the classes and workshops. So we're well, surviving. And, and you said you're having your board meetings with the Zoom too, aren't you? Yes, we are. Yes. Well, and you know what? Is... We're all learning a lot about this technology that we didn't know before, aren't we? <laughs> oh, we we had the uh, the comforts of of uh, business as usual and. And now we're learning a whole new world. Yeah, the, really we're are. gonna. I think we're gonna have a whole new normal when when we finally get this virus out of the system here. Yeah, the, we have found that it has a silver lining in using all the technology, in that our um, some of our uh, pre presenters and and um, workshop people come from further away when we put out the alarm that we were gonna go by way of Zoom, they responded. So it, we can reach out to more people and get a more diverse classes and, and whatever. So it, it doesn't have a silver lining. Yeah, well, that's good. You know, there's always something good comes out of it, isn't there? There is. Well, uh, how about any other programs that your guild does that we ought to know about? Well, we have our quilt show, which hopefully will, will be this, this uh, coming year. Um, we, we do do a lot of, um, um, I just have this, these are all um, in the uh, middle of being finished. I don't know if you can see okay, that. Okay, like some, some quilts for kids? This is quilts for kids. These are the hospital quilts. What fun. I, it is, it is. And these are um, all done, I must say, by our quilt bank people. And well, this one's full of cars. It is. What it fun is. fabric, yes. For the, for the uh, automotive inclined. And then this is, we love going through our, our stashes and whatever. And this is a little uh, dinosaur, <laughs> dinosaur pick. Dinosaurish, yes, right. So. 
Well, and so tell us about that beautiful quilt hanging behind you. Oh, these are, there are three quilts. And again, they are made by our quilt bank people. And at our quilt show, we um, have a room, a booth, in which um, we sell the very best of our quilt bank quilts um, to raise money to uh, get more material or batting or whatever that we need. Um, most of the, these are sold, uh, they have been quilted. And um, otherwise we, we tie our quilts basically so that it, it's a, qu a quicker turnaround. But these are um, some of the samples of what we've produced. Okay, and so then the other two that you have hanging there too are ones that then you would sell at your booth at the quilt show. Right, right. And, and so These, tell us, do you have a quilt show, show scheduled now? We do, um, it's uh, Columbus Day weekend of next year. And hopefully we'll be able to have it and uh, have a lot of people come that enjoy the art of quilting. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you know what? Someone uh, that's watching our program today could be the lucky winner of a sewing machine that's being given away by a handy quilter. And this machine is called the HQ Stitch 710, and it's a piecing and applique machine. And I know a lot of people aren't aware that Handy Quilter has anything other than long arm machines, but they do have a line of home sewing machines, and this is one of those. And it has 170 built-in stitches, nine millimeter width of stitch, and it even has a knee lift for those people who do a lot of piecing and use that knee lift. Um, it's a great machine and it's worth $3,495. And everybody can submit an entry to win this sewing machine by going to quiltweek.com slash guild buzz and run that all together no spaces and again that's quiltweek.com forward slash guild buzz so i hope everyone who's watching will go to the website and enter somebody's going to win that sewing machine i want to talk a little bit about what i have hanging behind me uh, normally i do have a quilt that we put as the background uh, but this is what I call a summer spread. It's made out of a million yo-yos. And I have to tell you, I think I did one block worth of yo-yos once. Uh, personally, I would never make this, but I bought this at the National Quilt Museum's quilt auction a couple of years ago. And it was really pretty. And because I knew I wouldn't make it, it was a good thing to add to my collection. So it's all made out of yo-yos and they've divided it into those squares and put the green path around it. Um, it looks really nice on a bed and you can change the colors of the sheets underneath it so that you get uh, another background color where the holes are between the, the yo-yos. Uh, it's a fun little piece. And again, it's not a quilt because it's not three layers. Uh, it is just the yo-yos. To be a quilt, it has to be three layers one of those being the top, the filler, and the backing, and it's all held together with stitches. And of course, this has no quilting stitches in it. Uh, they've actually attached it, and believe it or not, it's attached with white thread on the back. Uh, and so they've just whip stitched those yo-yos together to make this particular summer spread. But I thought everybody might enjoy seeing that today. Okay, now, uh, you know, um, our Guild Buzz, it starts out on Facebook. The first time we show it, it's on Facebook, uh, slash facebook.com slash AQS online is where you'll find uh, the first showing of the Guild Buzz. After that, we put it on YouTube. And if you're watching on YouTube, I would encourage you to hit the subscribe button because if you do, every time we post a new video of any kind from AQS, you will get an email saying that there's a new video up there so that you don't miss a thing. And we're doing lots of new programming right now. We're doing the Guild Buzz. We're also doing some trunk shows with some quilting stars that you might know out there. 
And then we have one called the AQS Quilting Stars, and that's taking you into the studio of some of, of the people that are teaching and, and doing other things in the world of quilting all across the country. So I hope that you all will join us. And Karen, I want to thank you for joining us today and telling us about the Bayberry Quilters of Cape Cod. It was my pleasure. And we hope that you will join us again. We'll be back next Wednesday at 3 o'clock Central Time. And if you have a guild that you'd like to have us interview, you can always send information to me at my email address, which is bonnie.browning at americanquilter.com. And I can't wait to see you. We'll be back next Wednesday.